What's up, everyone? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. Today, I got a new AIO starter kit for you. I got the Wismec High Flask. Yeah, man. Check it out. Kind of like an AIO starter kit, right? Does direct lung or like a very loose mouth-to-lung vape. Not too tight, you diehard mouth-to-lungers. This is not for you. All right, has some interesting coils. Let's dive down. Let me show you everything up close and personal. Then we're going to come back on top. We're going to vape on it a bit. We'll talk about it. Cons, pros, out of here as usual. See you down low. All right, everyone. Welcome to the down low portion of this video. Today, we're going to be doing the Wismic High Flask. Yes, that's the color they sent me. Can you believe that? Check it out. Wismic on the box over here. Over there, some Wismic. Here's some social media stuff. And on the back of the box, it tells you exactly what's included in the box. We got a high flask battery, a high flask cartridge, two 0.3 ohm coil heads, USB cable, user manual, and spare parts. All right, let's open up the box and see what we got. Look at that thing. Whew. I tell you, I don't know where they come up with these colors and ideas, but... Let's put this to the side for a second, all right? Take out the foam insert. There's another cardboard insert right here. Okay, over here, you get a micro USB charging cable. Seems like a nice one. Some spare O-rings and a spare plug for the tank. Here is the spare coil. We'll go over that in a minute. Take out some more foam inserts. And underneath, we have a Wismic High Flask user manual. Right there, you can see they go over the battery lights, 60 to 100%, it stays lit. 30 to 59%, it flashes slowly. 10 to 29, it moderately flashes. 0 to 9, it flashes frequently. Let me show you the coil that it comes with because it is kind of interesting. That's the coil right there. Look at that. And it's got, it's like around this like, I don't know, I guess it's like a ceramic block. It's labeled right there, JVUA 0.3 ohm coil. There are the contacts for the coil. Let me show you how we're going to prime it up, okay? Juice we're going to be using today is Eat Those Vapors Candy Treats. This is their peach ring juice. They make a real nice candy line. We're going to be using this, okay? Let's prime this coil up. All you want to do is you want to take your juice bottle and you want to put a little bit of juice in there. A couple of drops. All right, make sure you get that coil nice and saturated. Don't go crazy. Just put a couple of drops down the middle right there like that so it soaks it up. Okay, and then you take your coil and you make sure your contacts are going to be, you know, lined up with this. And you just pop it in just like that. All right, now I already have juice in this tank. It's already filled up. So we're just going to let that saturate for a minute. You've seen the bubbles coming up. All right, and we're going to put it back in the mod. We snap it in just like that. Right? And now we're going to add our drip tip. And in a few minutes, once that coil saturates a little bit more, we'll be ready to vape. Let me show you how this works. In order to take this tank out, you push by the arrow right there, and you pop the tank out. Notice, man, this thing is dry as a bone. This does not leak. It just doesn't. Fantastic job on that, Wismic, okay? Here is your fill port right here. Stays attached to the pod. I really like that, and you, they give you a spare. Great job on that, all right? 510 drip tip over here. Kind of neat that you can have a pod with a 510 drip tip because you can use some aftermarket ones. I like that. Here is your airflow right here. Now, this is I said that this is where you adjust it, but around this ring is actually where your airflow comes from as well. As you can see, I got some juice in there. All right. Like I said, this thing has been really, really dry. I've been enjoying that aspect of it. You just snap the tank back in like that. It locks into place, okay? You can see we got some paint splatter thing going on around here, right? You can see the tank fairly easily and your juice level. I do like that. A little bit of high flask branding over there. Very hard to see, though, okay? 
Here is your USB port. Here is your fire button. Very simple operation. Five clicks, you see the light blink, it's off. Five clicks, you see the light blink, it's on. All right? On the bottom here, we do have some venting. And that's about it, folks. All right? Let's cut back on top. Let's talk about it. Let's vape on it. We'll go over cons and pros, and then we're out of here. See you back on top. All right, everyone, we're back on top with the Wismec High Flask AIO Starter Kit. I mean, what can I say about this thing? I think it's kind of, uh, I don't know, man. I think it's kind of butt ugly. Not really too impressed with the looks of it. Form fact is nice. Feels good in the hand. Nice and light. Uh, measures in at 48.6 by 28.2 by 89 millimeters. Weighs 105.1 grams. 2100 Ma internal battery. Two amp charging. This thing charges quick, okay? Comes with a 0.3 ohm coil. Not good for Nick salts, all right? You guys who think this looks like a pod system, make sure you don't put Nick salts in this thing. This is meant for regular juice, okay? I just want to put that out there because it does look like some of the pod systems that are coming out today, all right? 5.6 ml capacity, okay? It's got direct output mode only, all right? Let's get into it. Let's get into the cons and the pros. First con is going to be touched on already. I think it's butt ugly. That's just my opinion. It's going to be subjective. Other people may like the looks. I think it's got a weird shape to it. That's also going to be a con. Yes, the form factor is comfortable, but it's got that weird, I don't know, angular looking shape I'm just not a fan of, okay? Other con is going to be coil has some break-in issues. Those, those wicking ports are just not big enough. It takes a while for that coil to really saturate and break in. Not a fan of that. Also brings us to our next con. If you're going to chain vape this thing, you're going to get some dry hits because those juice ports are just not big enough on the coil. They just did a bad job on it, okay? So we're going to give them a con for that. And like I said, with the break-in wise, you're going, to, you're going to get a real cottony taste for the first 10 or 12 pulls, all right? So just want to make you aware of that, okay? Other thing I'm going to give it a con for is that AFC, right? That little dial that I showed you there on top. Very tough to adjust, man. You almost got to have like girly nails to get in there and actually twist it. Real pain in the neck. Why couldn't they have done a better job with that? Why didn't you make it a little taller or something or put a knob on it, something? It's just a pain in the neck to adjust. They're going to get a con for that. Let's get on to the pros because there's a few of them, okay? First pro is going to be capacity, 5.6 ml capacity. Big win on that. Big pro, okay? We'll give them a pro for decent flavor. It's got decent flavor. It's not bad. All right, we'll give them a pro for the locking feature. I like the fact that when you snap that tank in, it locks in and it stays there. Pro on that. Let's give them a pro on the 510 drip tip. I like that. Not bad. Good job on that. 2100 mAh internal battery. Pro. Ease of use. Five clicks on, five clicks off. Hit the button of vape. Pro. Okay, great for a beginner. Yeah, man, if you're just transitioning over from cigarettes and you're not sure what kind of vape setup you want, this is a good one to start with. Not bad. Okay, comfortable form factor. I'll give them a pro for that. I'll give them a pro for the range of airflow. You can legitimately loose mouth to lung hit this thing or direct lung hit it. It's a nice range. We'll give them a pro on that, okay? No leaking. You saw that thing, man. I popped that thing open. Dry as a bone. They did a good job on that. Pro. Plug stays attached to the tank. I like that. Pro. I'll give them a pro because it charges fast. Two amp charging on this little guy, awesome job on that Wismic Pro. And I'll also give him a pro because they included two coils. Pro on that, all right? And that's it. That's really all I got for you on this one. All right, we're going to have a link down below to the juice that I used today. Eat those vapors, candy treats, peach rings. If you like those peach gummy rings, man, spot on juice, you'll love this one. Definitely check it out. We'll also have a link down below as to where you can buy the Wismic High Flask if you're interested. We'll have a link to our forum, vapinginsider.com forward slash forum. And do us a favor, man. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. You're in the no promotion zone, man. We don't do promotions here. We do real world reviews. And we keep it 100 all the time, all right? 
We'll see you on the next one. You guys keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.